Uh, okay, that was a weird start. Okay, so basically I'm making this in between, oh, let's ignore that, in between my study time because a friend on Facebook, hey Eleanor, um, asked me how I made Star Trek noises for various things and replaced it and it was something that distracted my eyes. So it was a cat. So um, basically I'm just going to show you uh, one of the sounds I have. I don't have a disconnect sound yet because I've only, I'm be I should be studying for exams right now, but you know. So there's my disconnect sound and logs accessed. My connect also when I log in, which I can't really show that, can I? Um, is command codes verified? So basically, I've got this file of com um, computer voices from Next Generation. Uh, and now you basically just do. Um, I I looked up zip folder because I couldn't find the f one that had the zip folder. So basically, but you just type in sound files enter and there's basically a ton. Be aware of the first few because you have to pay for the sound files. So basically I've just got a few random links that I think would be good. Uh, hopefully no viruses. Ignore that, 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 and that. Um, yeah, and so basically just a bunch. I'll put the links in the information bar, but essentially, so what you do is you download it, you get a zip folder, you, uh, you unzip it. I put it on my desktop just for having it there. Um, and easy to access. Uh, I'm not really sure if you have to keep it there or the um, file saves it. Anyway, so you basically go to the control panel. Oh, by the way, uh, the format is uh, WAV. WAV. Uh, so basically you go to this, you go to um, control panel, hardware and sound. Oh, this is assuming you have Windows 7. If you don't, it'd be around about similar. Uh, you go to sound change system sounds and um, essentially you just go to Windows default but um, and then you rename it so you go Windows default and click save as so mine's called Star Trek Star Trek sorry <laughs> and so basically what you do is so that's basically a Windows error you go browse and you have your computer voices here now they're not labeled so what I did is I just had a preview in Winamp would listen to a all on loop with an idea of the sort of sound that I wanted to replace and when I heard one that suited it I looked at the name and went replace. So let's just do a random one. Uh, disconnect. Um, I'm just going to do a random one and see if it works. Yeah and then you just go like that, apply or um, save as again when you finish and go OK. Now I'm not sure if it works straight away or you have to restart. Let's just check. Authorization denied. Oh, that's actually a pretty good one for <laughs> um logs accessed. Uh for a guess. So yeah, that's essentially how it works. Happy Star Trek modding.